Welcome back to Southern Iowa Luddite. I'm in part two where I'm going to take the sunflower oil, the crude sunflower oil, that I previously isolated from black oil sunflower seeds for birds, and I'm going to clean it up and purify it here so that in principle it would be useful for soap making, cooking, baking, and its ultimate uh, target here, which would be biodiesel. So I'm going to do it really simple here. I mean, you could use uh, filter uh, socks with uh, pumps and pressure and filter plates, and we do all that at the commercial scale. But for, you know, if we're uh, Mad Max in it here, probably not going to have access to all that. So we're going to do just a simple uh, filter technique. Uh, this filter happens to be a one micron filter. It's a, actually a high quality uh, filter cloth. But you could use coffee filters, you could use t-shirts, I mean, whatever you want to filter this with. The key to this is, I've let the five gallons, five gallon bucket of the previously isolated uh, crude sunflower oil, I've let it set for a couple days. Hopefully a lot of the solids, the seed mill, the uh, seed fiber and etc., have settled to the bottom. So I'll be careful here to pour this off and let the, uh, let the top go in so it doesn't plug the filter as much. So we'll see how this goes. Well, that, that went really well. Uh, if you, uh, you probably can't see it, but if you watch the last video, we had a lot of just black looking oily mess. Uh, but as predicted, uh, this stuff is uh, going to look uh, very clean, very yellow when done. And uh, I'll move you here a little bit closer to show you what's going on. So as you can see here, uh, we've got some floater sunflower seeds, but in general, not a whole lot of solids and it looks like it's filtering pretty nice all the way to the bottom of the uh, glass container. So uh, we're gonna do this for a while and then uh, check back in. Okay, so a couple hours later and uh, we're getting kind of down to diminishing returns with this exercise, so that's inside the filter cloth. You still, we still got a decent stream coming out. We got a nice golden oil, kind of hazy. Uh, we could use this to make uh, biodiesel, or you could cook with it, make soap. But we're going to go through the exercise of cleaning it up because I wanted to show you this bucket. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see the black layer with the golden yellow layer. That black layer, again, has the uh, seed mill and part of the uh, shell fibrous material and stuff. So we'll uh, centrifuge that because that would take forever to filter. So see you at the centrifuge. Okay, so here we are at the uh, centrifuge setup. So I've still got the uh, crude sunflower oil with the seed mill in the bottom in this uh, five gallon bucket. This is uh, what we did the gravity filtration with. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, somewhat cloudy. Uh, still some particles in there, probably uh, some fatty uh, waxes and butters that are possibly precipitated out. But how this works is there's going to be a mechanical pumping action that draws the uh, crude sunflower oil through this rabbit pump here, which will then deliver it up into the centrifuge bowl. And how the centrifuge works is you've got this bowl right here and the stream of sunflower oil will fall down into this bowl. Of course, it's uh, rotating extremely fast. As this bowl fills up, then the lightest weight material will go over the edge of this into the catch area of the bowl and then down this tube and eventually into the seven gallon glass receptacle. We're gonna catch the first uh, 10 milliliters or so 
uh, in this uh, waste flask, uh, primarily because if you've seen some of my Instagram or Facebook posts, you'll see that I've been uh, using this setup. I've been shaking it out to purify some diesel that I got from a friend that was all gummy and full of water and uh, it's uh, crystal clear and uh, been using it on the farm here for a while now. So, okay, well, I'll get a better shot, get this uh, set up and uh, let you watch how this goes. Okay, so getting ready to start the centrifuge here. Uh, first thing is I gotta turn on the pump, fill up the bowl and then uh, slowly feed it in so that it overflows the bowl and it purifies the sunflower oil. So first thing I'm going to do is kick on the pump, fill it up, get all the air bubbles out. I'll give you a close-up uh, shot of that. But you'll see the real trick to this is raising the pump up so that all the uh, air pockets in the feed line from the source material to the centrifuge uh, gets filled. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the pump, and I know from previous work with this uh, centrifuge, this setup, this particular tubing diameter, I need to feed at about 7 RPM to get a good separation of anything I put through this centrifuge. But to fill up the bowl, I don't want to be here all day, so I'm going to really turn up the RPM on this rabbit pump, make it pump faster, clear the uh, air pockets from the uh, tubing, and then bounce it back down to 7 RPM. So I'll let this run just a little bit here, and then I'll bounce it back down to uh, 7 RPM. Now it's just a matter of filling up the bowl, waiting for the pure sunflower oil to uh, come out of the centrifuge and into the catch container. Okay, so we got first drops coming over here. So now I'll transfer this to the seven gallon catch container. And there it is, a really nice stream of pure sunflower oil coming off the centrifuge. Now we'll let this run for a few hours and check back in. A good look at the before and after centrifuging the crude oil. 
Okay, it's time to throw the ugly crude oil with all the seed mill and the seed fiber into the charge pot and start cleaning it up. So one thing I did after I charged the really bottom of the barrel stuff into the centrifuge was that I changed out the collection pot just to make sure I could get enough clarification of the oil and I didn't contaminate my original hard work at the beginning. 